Good evening and welcome to the service of Compline with Iona Hope Episcopal Church in Fort Myers, Florida. It's a joy to be with you this evening. We invite you to join us for this service at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesdays and Thursdays uh, and to uh, participate fully in the service. If you wish to download the text of the service as a PDF, there is a link both on YouTube and Facebook and you can download them there. Uh, and Or if you just wish, I will be putting it up on the screen for us to follow along together here. Uh, for you, I, I will be serving as the officiant and for you to serve as uh, offering responses. Uh, you may find the responses on the text uh, by the letter R, uh, perhaps they are in italics, or they may be by the term people. I will give you space to, uh, to respond. And I will try to remind us when you and I need to either read or pray together. Uh, this being said, let's move ahead with our uh, service of Compline. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Let us confess our sins to God. Praying together. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. Together, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Let us read together both Psalm 31 and Psalm 134. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth, bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. I shall read this verse of scripture, and after you say thanks be to God, we will take a few moments for quiet meditation. When evening had come, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. Other boats were with him. A great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat, so that the boat was already being swamped. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Then the wind ceased and there was a dead calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this? that even the wind and the sea obey him.
Let us continue with our prayers. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Praying together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace. And let your blessing be upon us always, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. At this time, we invite your prayers for those who are sick, injured, and dying. Also for those who care for them and those who support and encourage the caregivers. Please pray for those who are all who are in authority, that the decisions they make will be for the common good. Please pray for those on your hearts and minds. Continuing and saying together, Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. It's always good to be together with you as we gather uh, in God's presence wherever we are and however we are. I pray that this evening will be a good evening for you and that uh, you will find it restful and peaceful and that you will rise in the morning refreshed by God's love. Hope you will join us uh, tomorrow on Friday, as we on Mondays and Fridays have noonday prayer uh, at noon Eastern time. Thank you for joining us. It's good to be with you. May God bless you.